Hey everybody and welcome to Gone Gaming. I'm Badfish and welcome today to a brand new series here. Uh, we are going to be calling this one Acadia. So before we jump into the first build on our brand spanking new map, I did just want to show you the map itself and uh, let you know what it's called. So if you want to take a look at it yourself, you can. So this is Rennington Bay by G2G Lauren. Um, so I got this off of the workshop this week. I just found it. It looks like it's been up there for like a month or so. Um, but it's a really cool map. It really fits kind of the, the New Englandy theme I wanted to do and leaves a lot of room for me to add stuff. It's pretty vanilla as things stand. But we got this nice little mountain landscape in the background here and then it expands all the way into a coastline. I liked that because I wanted to kind of do the mountainous areas of New England, but I also wanted to get the coastal areas of like the north and everything. So Acadia, obviously, if you haven't noticed from me talking, is going to be very heavily New England based, very heavily um, kind of just North North America. So that's the plan. There might be like some Canadian influence in there, some Northwest influence as well. Uh, but that is kind of what we're going for. So again, here is the map. And just to give you a little bit of context for where we're going to be building. We're going to come right over here by this nice lake and little mountain over here and build ourselves a trumpet interchange right around this area leading into a small town up in here. So without further ado, guys, we're going to jump right into that. So I hope you enjoy the new series. If you do, definitely leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel uh, and you're enjoying what you're seeing and you enjoy the video today, definitely subscribe. But we're going to jump into the build here, guys. Enjoy. So just to start out today's video in Acadia, guys, we are just building a little interchange off of this highway here. So I just wanted it to look um, pretty smooth and I built typically off of trumpet interchanges are the ones I go for. They're the ones I'm best at making. I know it's not perfect, but I think it looks pretty good as far as, um, you know, the actual road work goes and you know, it's it's serviceable. It works. So we're going to go and utilize this. I can smooth it out a little bit. I'll probably come back through and do that and, you know, work with the nodes a little bit more. But yeah, that's our interchange off the highway. So now we're going to start stretching up into the mountains here in just a second. But first, we're just going to do a quick little detail work and uh, start messing around with what our forest is going to look like around the towns and stuff that we're going to be making. So this is very much a work in progress. You know, I'm gonna work with different assets and see what kind of hits as I go. But for the most part, um, I think we have a pretty good selection of trees and rocks and stuff. I get some different rocks that kind of fit this a little bit more because I'm still using some of the ones I used from San Pedro. But yeah, so we're gonna start filling in some of that forest up in the mountains here and um, you know, get right up against however many trees I can get with the unlimited trees mod. I know there actually is a cap on it, but I'm also going to try to thin it out just a little bit for FPS sake. So not all of them are going to look like this. I think my biggest regret with this one was using these prop rocks because they're just everywhere. So I'm going to be clearing out the uh, roads a lot as I go. I tried to get rid of as most of that as I can. But here is going to be our main intersection of our town of Moosehead. So that is the name of the town we're going to be making here. It's going to be a small little mountain town kind of tucked away. Not a ton going on. Just has a little bit of a commercial strip right in the middle of the town and then it's going to kind of stretch out with just dirt roads up and into the mountain and then there's going to be part overlooking the lake and we're just going to be putting down some like low density residential stuff but just putting down our first buildings here so we got an arcade nice little barbecue place a lot of this is from uh king's king leno i think it's like the other side of the tracks or something like that um the other side of town i forget what it was uh pack but that's the one where utilizing I think it works well just for like a small town in the middle of nowhere and I like uh, you know having some parking through it since it is gonna be you know North American we want those little parking lots even though most of them are gonna be empty half the time because there's just not the population to actually fill them and 
it's going to be a lot of messing around with kind of the terrain of things, which I'm happy about. The thing with San Pedro that I think was kind of getting to me was that it was very flat. There was not a lot of elevation to work with. So I really wanted to do a nice mountainous build for this new town, uh, this new city. And I think it ends up looking pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, it's going to be something we get comfortable with, you know, being a brand new series and all that. And uh, these houses I'm using, it's the mid-century pack, the mid-Atlantic pre-war pack, and uh, I forget the last one, uh, but it starts with a mid as well, because that's what I type in to find all of them. But this is a nice little pack. It's a lot of, like, you know, pre-war, like, 1940, 1950 kind of build. Well, I guess not 1950, but 1940, 1930. Uh, but you still see a lot of these houses through, you know, small towns in New England, certainly. Um, you know, they've been remodeled and stuff like that, but they still have the same motifs. Like, And I think it was a good pack to kind of get started with. They're very inoffensive houses. Like, it's not, they kind of fit in anywhere, which I like. So now we're putting in our police station and a little county fire station or town fire station. So just keeping everything really small, not uh, using any assets that look like super involved or big or crazy in the middle of the town. I really wanted it to be very simple for this first build, and I think it ended up looking very nice by the end of it. Like even that car wash I just put down, I realized it's gigantic and just didn't fit for what I was going for, so I ended up swapping that out in a little bit and kind of putting a smaller one down. Um, and then now, this is kind of my favorite part of the build here. We're putting down a little church here. So this is the, I think it's just called the County Church on the workshop. And uh, it's a really pretty asset, really simple, which I like. And uh, again, small town America, you're gonna see churches like this all the time. Um, maybe not even this big, but it works really nice. Put a little cemetery in the background of it, and we're gonna kind of put a pathway going through that and some more decoration and fences and stuff and I think it ends up looking very nice by the end of it let me know what you guys think but I think this is kind of the the centerpiece of this little town of Moosehead and uh, I think it's a good centerpiece I enjoy it even though it's kind of dark it looks good when the light hits it and all that good stuff so I'm now just stretching the fencing all the way through just to kind of delineate the path a little bit more and where I want to put my different bits of landscaping around the church itself and I just wanted to move it a little bit more give me a little bit more space to work with and so now um, just fixing up this little clinic here so again using very small assets so this one is just like a rural clinic and it's very small and then going ahead and just putting in some more like again work in progress with the trees here we're going to kind of figure out what works but we're going to start filling it in a little bit around some of the buildings that we've already built and uh i do get a little bit too close to some of these houses so i deleted a lot of the trees just to kind of pare it back and we're going to go ahead and fill those in later and so now just doing the landscaping around the church real quick just a couple lines of bushes and stuff Again, work in progress with the trees. This one was not good, took that away. And uh, went ahead and put in some different trees there and just made it a little bit more simple. Same thing there, just keeping it keeping it simple, not trying to you know, use every tree asset I have. So now we'll go back and uh, put down some like service vehicles and stuff. So I did get some ambulances and police cars and fire trucks and stuff that we'll put on the other side so just putting down like one ambulance and then just a couple of like EMS cars because I didn't think they would have more than one ambulance operating in a town this small at least not until it grows a little bit more because I think we only get like maybe a couple hundred residents by the end of this and we're gonna fence that in as well and I think uh, fencing is gonna be important in this one because I think with everything being right up against the forest and stuff, you know, there's a lot of critters, you know, skittering around the forest. So people are going to have fences around their parking lots and stuff. So there's not, you know, wild animals just like clawing through their trash at night and, uh, you know, doing other stuff. Especially if like we're thinking this is, you know, maybe up in the middle of Maine or up in the middle of Oregon or Washington or something. 
like that. There's going to be uh, bears and all that good stuff. So you're going to want a fence. And we'll probably fence in a lot of the houses, maybe. Um, you know, I'm not thinking chain link fences for all of them, but we have, you know, some wrought iron fences and things like that. We can kind of delineate the space with a little bit more and add that kind of like added quote unquote security from animals. This is like what I think about when I detail, just like stupid reasons people would have different things. Like why would people have lots of fences? Because there's bears. At least I think that's a good idea. Let me know if you agree. And now uh, something I didn't do in San Pedro, but I think I'm going to start doing in this build a lot is using these smaller power lines and kind of going right along the roadways with them. Uh, once it's all said and done, it's like such a pain to get right. But once it's all said and done, I think it does look very nice and add a little bit more realism. Just having those, uh, you know, power lines and those poles going straight through. Uh, you can't really do that with the vanilla ones just because they're so massive. But I think with these ones, it's a nice little added detail. And uh, if I think about, you know, small towns again, you're going to have those power lines crisscrossing everything. So I like that. And... Now we're just going to add a little bit more to this little commercial strip. So I've got a bank right here. Um, I don't know if I put it down yet, but I did get this like little kind of jazz club slash theater that I put on the corner. And I thought that was a really good addition as well. Yeah, that's out there. So now the bank, I just wanted to have a little bit more landscaping to it. So just using those curbside props that I've always used. So it's just the curbside pack by King Leno, I believe, and putting a line right through to delineate the two lanes going through and some arrows, and then just finishing off with a little bit of parking out front. And we'll go through and put some more trees and stuff on that uh, little bit of planter right there. And uh, the thing, I think, uh, you know, San Pedro had the palm trees. I think Acadia is going to have the pine trees. It just makes sense. So we have these like little manicured pines that I use. And then obviously the really wild ones in the background. And I'm going to have to go back and re-download some of my different car props because I have so many less. Like I think I have like only four right now where I used to have like at least 11 different random cars just to put down just to kind of make my static parking lot look better so we're just gonna you know willful suspension of disbelief right there and putting just some like little trash areas behind some of the buildings and I did this I don't know if I kept it in the recording or not but there's like a corner between two other buildings that I put a big trash area just to you know add a little more realism and have more things to put behind the buildings I think those are fun and again fencing everything in so bears don't attack people or again raccoons don't go in your garbage which is more likely and adding in the concrete and then we'll kind of bring up some more plants and stuff right up to the fences to kind of mask where the concrete bleeds through really badly because uh, that's definitely happening and then putting down another parking lot right behind the uh, police center here and just putting down the police cars and just some random cars as well and then like I said just doing a little fire engine and a couple little like fire ranger trucks as well to kind of finish out this little area and now we're gonna go ahead and start filling in with the trees here so again trying something a little bit different using some smaller ones to just kind of fill in around the houses and stuff so maybe they cleared land when these houses were built and then they replanted some smaller trees and now those are starting to take growth around some of the older growth around it and kind of filling in the forest a little bit more right up to the right up to the hill there and the last few things we're going to be doing here is just doing some kind of superfluous details to things around the center of the town and we're going to add some lights and decals and uh, for some fun I got a big graffiti pack as well so that ended up looking really good. I really enjoyed putting down some graffiti so I think that's something we're going to start ending the episodes with too is putting down different random graffiti on buildings in town 
and uh, some billboards and all that good stuff. But I'm going to let the music play out, guys, and then we'll hit a live play and some cinematics. But I hope you enjoyed the build. If you did, definitely leave a like down below. And uh, if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. But again, enjoy. I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, and welcome to the first build of our new city. Welcome to Acadia, specifically the small town of Moosehead, the small mountain town of Moosehead. I'll give you a little bit of uh, context for where we are on the map in just a moment, but this is our main little commercial stretch. Like I said, with Acadia, we're going for something kind of like New England, North North America, maybe some uh, Canada influence thrown in there as well, but just the the north because that's where I'm from and what I know so I wanted to kind of build some things that I see you know around me um, so this is our little small town up in the mountains here so as we scroll out just to kind of give you a little bit more of you know a basis where we are on the map we got this beautiful lake down here this nice mountain side that we're kind of building into for right now and if we want to see against the full map, got this nice river cutting through things that leads off to the ocean eventually. So we'll get around to all of this, but for now, we're just starting over here. So we, in the beginning, built this nice little trumpet interchange. I know it's not the best, but, you know, I'm pretty proud of it considering how often I build interchanges, which is not often at all. And we're going to come over here off this ancillary highway come up through here and boom here is the main strip what you're gonna see as you drive on up to Moosehead here got the King Leno Motel on the left I thought this was a great asset to kind of open up with so it's like a long stay motel for people who are coming through and it's the first thing you see as you come off the highway nice little power transfer station here and then like our municipal police slash fire department right here very small again so we just have our police station here our fire service right here a nice little uh, truck in the back and some parking for the other vehicles out back as well coming over through here uh, this is our bank so a lot of small town America you are gonna see banks just kind of randomly scattered throughout we have banks everywhere in small towns so uh, here is the first skyline bank and the first bank of Acadia so I kind of want to move this, I think. Yeah, that'd be good. Let's move this node just so it's not in the middle of where people need to come in and out of. That was my mistake. Anyway, uh, we do have these suburban rural power lines coming coming through. Uh, I thought it was a nice addition to you know add to the, the build itself. But anyway, here's our bank. Put a little drive through right there coming into this little like Dairy Queen area right here. And then of course, at every small town intersection, you gotta have a gas station. So put the Shell station with the car wash built off to the side right here. And as we come along this side, we have the Strict Toaster Cafe. And then this is kind of a amalgamation of clipping. I just clipped a couple different food markets by King Leno together in these kind of like abandoned warehouses. I don't know the creator of these ones, so I apologize for that. Put a billboard and then some cool graffiti on the side just to add a little more grunge to it. Uh, these props are already here by King Leno, so that's super helpful as well. And put a billboard on top. Same thing over here, just clipped a few things together, slapped some graffiti on the side. It looks pretty cool and uh, it's like a liquor store and then right next to it is like the theater slash jazz club club kind of deal bar so i think that was a nice little piece there and then my favorite thing as you come on through the thing that i probably put the most detail into individually was this church so this is the county church off the workshop i don't know the creator again i'm terrible with that so i apologize but this is the county church if you look it up uh it should be one of the most popular in like the last year it's an awesome looking asset very simple nice little church that you could find in any small town in america certainly in the northeast and just put a nice little like old graveyard so you know maybe it dates back to like revolutionary era so 1700s etc you know maybe it's an old church that's been refurbished or 
has just been in continual use and we have some nice little landscaping a little path cutting on through it and then everything else is kind of off on these dirt roads so i'm using a couple of different like mid-war mid-atlantic mid-century so kind of like those 1950s ish houses uh you know you still see a ton of houses that are still built very much in this style in small towns um certainly in the northeast i see buildings that look like this all the time uh, so just kind of scattering those on through and then using um, our growth to kind of come up i am going to go through and detail these a little bit more um, so put driveways on more of them and some cars and stuff i just didn't want to do that for this episode we can leave that for later but those kind of stretch all the way out throughout the mountain and then for now this is our power supply up here i always like looking at the windmills in this game is especially against a nice mountain backdrop like that it looks good so that is the first build here guys so i hope you enjoyed it i really did i think it's going to be good starting a new series and you know working with some new stuff and like the frame rate <laughs> is so much better like there's no stuttering i can like zoom in and out and fly around so i'm gonna have a lot of fun just kind of doing this you know a little bit more small scale um kind of builds and stuff like this but i hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already this is the first and what i hope to be many in this series so i hope you guys really enjoy it i'm gonna leave you with some cinematic shots of what we built here today and i will see you in the next episode enjoy peace